welcome dear students to our technofund.kvs youtube channel for the videos of database concepts of class 8 in our earlier earlier videos we have discussed about the terms data database and uh, database management systems table primary key in this video we are going to create a table by using a wizard by using liber base i hope all of you have installed the liber office in your systems laptop pcs because we have to work in liber base and we will do some practical sessions about this so first of all we need to understand that what is a wizard as you can see on the screen a wizard is the step by step procedure that help to create a table or a database object in liber base in simple terms wizard is a step by step approach which tells the user guide the user that how we can make or develop a particular database object so let us now going to create a table by using a wizard just see we have a series of steps in creating a table using wizard so first step is as you can see on the screen we have to open the liber office and select the base database as shown here by the arrow as soon as you click on this particular button you will get the this screen second screen in which we have two things select database and save and proceed so as you click on the select database option this one which is highlighted in blue color you have to know about the three options create a new database second one is open an existing database file third is connect to an existing database create a new database if we want to create a new database then we have to select this option if we have already a created database then we have to choose for the second option so in this example we can select a new database option let us move ahead as you can see we am click on the next button the second step save and proceed option comes here and its screenshot is visible to all of you in which we are having two options do you want the wizard to, to register the database in liber office then we will select the first option which is by default already selected here yes register the database for me and then you can click on this finish button as you click on the finish button this liber base wizard helps you ask you to give a particular name to the database suppose as we are going to make a database named contacts then we are passing here the name contacts and then we will click on the save button now you can see here as soon as we have click on the save button give name context to our database file here you can see in the title bar of our window that context.odb comes here that means we are now working in our context database now you can observe here that we have the four options tables queries forms and reports these four options are the four database objects or we can say four different types of database objects now let us see how can we create a table we are working in context database now the first process first step is to create a table then as you are watching on the screen the we are clicking on the tables button as soon as we have click on the tables button we have three options coming again create table in design view second is use wizard to create a table third is create view in our syllabus as we are working on the wizard option so that is why we will select the second option now coming to the second step as soon as you click on the wizard button because we are creating a table by using a wizard means step by step approach we will get the following screen in which we have further four steps as you can see first is select fields then set types and formats data types and formats which we have already discussed in our earlier videos set primary key which we have already discussed in our second video then the fourth is create table so already we have here two categories of databases coming here tables coming here uh, one is business second is personal as soon as you click on the business and sample tables will come here so you can select 
one of the tables given below as you can see in the next screen here so sample tables have a context table already uh, formed in this base software so we will select the contacts then we will have various options of the fields fields or we can say the columns the vertical columns in which we will store the data like we have the notes photos etc from the list of these available fields we can select the fields which we want to be in our table so we will select here contact id city first name last name mobile number and email address and then we can click on the next button now we will see the next screen in which we have selected the fields then click on the next button in second step we will find and set the data types and format for each and every field as you can see here we have selected the contact id column we are clicking on this and we are getting some options here the field type field type means the data type which we have discussed already in our video one so we have selected here integer because contact id what we want to enter the contact id to be in integer or numeric values likewise we can give various data types to every each and every field this is our option now after this we can click on the next button and in the third step we will set a particular primary key so as you can see on the screen here a primary key we are going to select so we check uh, the checkbox option create a primary key here we have the also again three options automatically add a primary key use an existing field as a primary key define primary key as a combination of several fields as in the third option we can also have the more than two or two and more than two columns to be acting as a primary key let us move ahead now what we want we want contact id field to be set as a primary key that is why as you can see on the screen we are we have selected the second option an existing field field name is our contact id which we want to be act as a primary key that is why we have selected here the contact id okay now we are going to click on the next button and this particular screen will come now the fourth step we have in which we what we want to do insert data immediately and then we will click on the finish button as we click on the finish button we will have this following screen which you are watching on here so contact id first name last name city mobile number email address by this step we have created we learn to create uh, a table using the wizard option and we have created the structure of the table now in the next video we will going to insert learn going to insert a data or we can say the records of the contacts in our context database and this particular table thank you for watching this video